Well, time now 1244. We're now going to transition to weather. Damon, what can we expect this afternoon? Uh, well, you can expect some of the weather that's making its way across western Louisiana right now. When this is a three hour time lapse and what I want you to notice is that as that uh, line makes its way out of Texas and into Louisiana, the thunderstorms uh, intensify quite a bit and that's expected to continue as it gets closer and closer here to us here in southeast Louisiana. It extends all the way up into the Great Lake states and the frontal boundary is all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. That front is now in Louisiana and there's some really strong strong storms all across that entire region of Louisiana right now. So the moderate risk of severe weather covers all of Mississippi, most of Alabama, and it stretches down here onto the North Shore in the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. That moderate risk is the second highest risk we can get uh, with severe weather. We are under an enhanced risk of severe weather down here on the South Shore, but all of us are at risk of seeing severe weather. That, that risk includes the possibility of some strong long track tornadoes similar to what we saw last week and similar to what they experienced in Texas yesterday and of course damage in winds and if you've been outdoors at all and you don't even have to go outdoors you can hear the wind blowing all across southeast Louisiana whether you're north or south of the lake some strong winds right now and they're going to get stronger as that frontal boundary gets closer and closer to us here in southeast Louisiana. There is actually a tornado watch that's in effect for all of western Louisiana and parts of Mississippi and what I want you to notice is these red boxes those are all tornado warnings that have been issued by the National Weather Service for all those areas and that is a along that line of showers and storms that are making its way across the northern part of the state. So if you hear us uh, on the air break into program telling you that there is a tornado warning in your area or an emergency, you got to take action and you got to take action quick. You got to get to the bottom floor of your house and get into the most secure innermost area of your house that doesn't have windows. Usually that is a closet or a bathroom. The high wind uh, warning is in effect for all of us across southeast Louisiana. That's a change from yesterday. That's until 9 p.m. tonight night wind gust of 55 miles per hour or greater is possible up to about 70 miles per hour even with those sub southerly winds pushing all that water along the shorelines all the areas that are in green are under a coastal flood advisory until 1 a.m. tonight right now the winds blowing at 30 miles per hour at the lakefront 29 over in Bell Chase 26 in Bogalusa and 26 over in Homer right now they're gusting now up to 47 miles per hour over at the lakefront 41 in Homer and over in Bell Chase 38 mile per hour wind gusts up in Bogalusa right now as that line gets closer and closer to us. So here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. As you can see, as we go into the latter part of the afternoon and the evening, some very strong storms make their way across the North Shore and the South Shore. 9, 10 p.m. tonight onto the Mississippi Gulf Coast and still affecting us down here on the South Shore. By about 1 a.m., most of the activity is to the east of us. 2 a.m., it's all to the east of us. And then in the morning, things get much, much better. So while we've got a lot of strong storms on the way right now, Art, Right now, the, the radar picture for the most part is pretty clear. Yeah, that is true. The radar is pretty clear for us right now. You take a look at the uh, camera shake going on right about now as we go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy to overcast conditions uh, throughout the day. You're going to be seeing here uh, breezy and gusty winds moving that cloud cover around. Let's take a look back at the radar. As you can see yet again, still a ways away from us moving into uh, Lake Charles right now, and eventually we'll start to see some of that light moisture getting into the North Shore. We'll go right into how this all looks. As you can see, uh, conditions right about now still still holding on to at least uh, uh, again, the temperatures in the 70s and the 80s right now. The warm conditions still will prevail because of the humidity coming off the Gulf. 79 degrees in Kenner. You're looking at 80s as you get into Bogalusa and Hammond there. 79 in Homa, mixing up those clouds again. Bell Chase doing the same. Gulfport, Biloxi, all the same. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy to overcast skies. We'll ride right into how it looks right now in New Orleans. You're again seeing the humid conditions. We're looking at the uh, visibility, not a problem now. It's gone from uh, 10 down to 9. You're looking at the winds south at 24 miles per hour. So right about now, it's all about the winds currently and getting you prepared for what's going to be happening. You're going to see those 80s eventually as we go right into the uh, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock hour. You're going to see those 80s up on the North Shore, 80s and a mix of upper 70s to middle 70s once you go from Homa all the way down to Port Fouchon. We'll go into the evening hours with 60s and 50s in there. So it's a little bit of that cooler air is going to be starting to work in well to our west. And eventually, as we continue into tomorrow morning, you're going to see those uh, 50s and 60s. We'll go into the afternoon 
afternoon for a Thursday. Another mild uh, afternoon for you with uh, skies to be at least in the clear. It is a marine forecast. You're going to see the breezy and gusty winds for much of the coastal areas. And as we carry over into your 12 hour forecast, looking like this for the North Shore and then the South Shore doing the same, uh, we're going to be picking up again conditions to be very uh, windy, gusty, and rainy going through the evening hours. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, we'll get you to how this all plays out for you. You're going to be seeing over the next couple of days. Once we get past the storm activity, very mild conditions getting into warm conditions to finish out the weekend and getting into the beginning of next week.